Okay, I'm really glad that you enjoyed. Please tell her. Hey guys, ano yung magandang araw? It's Jem here. You guys are probably bored and want to watch something else besides K dramas and K variety shows. Especially if you finished all of the episodes, you just need to watch Korean at live and all of the four channels. So here, I'm gonna suggest you what are the things that I have watched that I really loved this month. Oh, it's very refreshing. First that I'm gonna talk about is Travel Agency with Krisha Chu. And this segment basically is about K lifestyle and she invited different content creators outside of Korea to bring to Korea and explore along with her because she's actually not Korean as well. So you know, in this, besides her and the content creator that she is touring around Korea, us viewers as well are learning more about where to go if you visit to Korea and yeah she's actually a bubbly girl which makes this content really um, good and reaching out to the audience because you know you really feel like you're there in that video with them and yeah they basically just look for hidden charms in Korea not only in Seoul but in the whole Korea Our top two that I want to suggest to you guys is Contemporary Kugak Concert and Kugak translates to national music. It's actually hard as a foreigner to appreciate it at first but as you continue to listen to it, it's just really something very fresh when you hear. So it's definitely a must content that you should watch. So this stuff that right here actually watches with me sometimes when I watch Korean at live. But coming on the third spot is Guessing K-pop Challenge. And this one is actually famous among idols as well. So what they do here is like, you know, headset and then you will sing and then the other person will try to guess what song are you singing and then guess the title of the song and the singer. So they usually, this content, they usually invite or ask influencers or content creators, especially dance crews, to actually film this kind of content and then upload on their channel to also promote this game and also Korea Net Live. For number four, it's another K lifestyle content and it's the ultimate tips for traveling in Korea. And this is basically foreigners trying to share where to go in Korea and as you can see uh, I love this kind of content because if I will travel back to Korea you know I want to go to different places and not the same places again so if you want to travel to Korea or if you plan in the future you might want to watch this kind of content because you can note it down and some places that they actually go to are not the usual places where foreigners go. So, you know, if you want to be surrounded more by local Koreans, this is a good way to actually learn more about the places of where to go to Korea as a foreigner. Are you going backwards? No, I'm not. Am I? No, no. And the last content that I want to share to you guys is Joan Day Vlogs. And Joan Kim is a famous content creator in Korea. She's Korean that is based in Korea who basically does lots of vlogs, uh, beauty content. She basically does a lot. And what I like about this content is it's like a mystery box. It's a random video that is being shown. So if you are a fan of her or if you just want to watch her videos, definitely check Korean at live. So this has been another month of me sharing my top 5 best contents that I love watching from Koreanet Live main platform. They have 3 more channels which are K Korea in the World, Korea Trend, and K Influencer. So I will just be inserting it here and also please make sure to always check the description box because I put a lot of information in there. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and please also tell me or comment down below if you have watched some contents from Korean at Live. And yeah, um, 댓글 남겨주세요. 그리고 구독해주세요. And I'll see you guys later. 안녕!